come he gets all the girls? He got a human girlfriend. I'm as much pretty as you are, Power Glide, just so you know. Really? You are as pretty as him? Of course. Hello and welcome to the video review of Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Power Glide. And here we have Power Glide and no package, but we get ourselves a collector's card. And we'll take a quick look at the collector's card. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I like the artist style on him. So that's much for the collector's card. And yeah, it says Transformers Generations on the back. Okay, forget to show you on the wind charge review. So here's wind charge. Uh, wind charger? No, 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 no. Power glide. And power glide is very, very cool. Yeah, red, little cool red and gray color. Kind of brownish gray color. Um, yeah, he's mostly just red. Hmm. Um, he... I f don't know what he, what the name of the jet mode he has, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And he, all, he is also a target master because he's part of the aerobots that can form Superion. And he has pretty good range of moment, uh, movements. He has a head movement. On a swivel, hand, ar arms on a ball joint, and the hands are on a fit hinge. Same goes over here. Ball jointed legs and knees get pretty. Mo uh, yeah, I can do. I can do like this. You can get on the stand probably. Yeah, that's not gonna work. If we take back one, yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, but he can do something like this. <laughs> yeah, so um, he has this kind of wish. This kid would kind of spin and fold up here. So yeah, it just hangs off there. You can just see it. And let's get Power Glide in Gun Mode first before we get to him to. Jet mode. So first, what you want to do is to take his arms, plug them right in there on the port, because the, <sighs> the tabs can't go in here. Put his legs together. Take his feet down. Yeah, yeah. Mine has an, mine has a bit of a problem that they will pop off a bit sometimes. And yeah, these back wings are kind of loose. Which kind of bugs me. Take the fr pull the thrusters forward like this. Take the <sighs> cockpit here. Pull them forth. Take the landing gear out, which will form the handle, and put he him there. Almost done. Oh wait, I forgot. And. Voila! We have Power Glide in Target Master mode, and it's pretty decent gun mode, I think. Yeah, um, uh, here's the what you aim with, and of course, we'll take in Alpha Bravo because I put him in arm mode, and he can just put it in his arm like that, and you get him holding. Like this, yeah. So yeah, you can also combine with Superion's gun to make it a long-range sniper or rifle, something. Take this off and put Alpha Bravo arm away and put him in his robot. Uh, ow! In his jet mode. And all we gotta do is just put this together and pull thrusters back again. Yeah, it happens that it pops off. Uh, reason why why these are loose? Yeah, wish there was a these were on a hinge because they are extremely loose, extremely, extremely loose. I don't think super glue can fix that. I just don't think it would. And then we just put these here, pull them out, and yeah, mine has a kind of a stress mark there, and you know you can see it. 
Right there. Right there. Right here is the stress mark. Well, let's see. Now we we'll take these down, and they'll form the wings. And here we have Power Glide in his plane mode, and <laughs> it's very G1 accurate to his plane mode. Yeah. Of course, he has wheels on the hair, but they're just molded in. Red. Same goes here, just molded. Oop. So, yeah. Um, got to show you that he also has missiles under here. Uh, he do he doesn't come with weapons. I forgot to tell you that, like wind charger. But he comes with, but he has missiles under his uh, arms. Stupid. Focus, focus, damn you! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he he, he has their these missiles, which is kind of cool. So the Decepticons can watch out for a power glide. And I don't know what this is. Is it supposed to be a gun or something? I don't know. Or is it like a track, uh, like a transmitter? Like the G1 toy, he doesn't have any visible head syndrome as he used to have in the G1, but you can just do like this to make him, yeah, have a visible head syndrome, which kind of looks ugly now. Uh, let's do that, yeah. So, yeah, here's. There's nothing much left to talk about him, except he got a giant Autobot symbol. Which is kinda cool. Yeah. So, I've been Swedish Sikon. I'm sending you a farewell. See you next time on the same channel, same reviews of Transformers. Bye!